Thank you, Bill Enright. It only crossed my mind listening to your conclusion, the words of that familiar old hymn. Oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. Well said, Doctor. Thank you all for being here today. I'm sure I speak for many, if not all, when I say that we come today with hearts that are broken, but also hearts that are full. Our hearts are broken for those we have lost, for those who were harmed. Our hearts are broken likewise for those who work so very hard for a full year to try to make of the Indiana State Fair the great event that it is, the family reunion of all Hoosiers that it is, the one place where we come together from farms and inner cities, all ages, all faiths, all walks of life, for ordinarily the most joyous event I know of. And so for all those who grieve this morning and all those who have lost in one way or another so much from the events of the other day, our hearts are with you in a way that Hoosiers are known for. Our hearts are full also. I'll speak for myself at least. My heart is full for those people who some from duty, but many simply from their love and personal bravery, acted in courageous ways to make sure that Saturday night was not worse than it was. All day yesterday, I talked to state troopers, firemen, emergency personnel. Every one of them had a story about that stranger who was to their left and their right helping them extricate the injured, lift the scaffolding, complete disregard of their own safety. There was a hero every 10 feet on Saturday night. I'm sure in the other 49 states, people are rightly proud of the character of the people who live there and their special qualities. I think we are entitled to say this morning to ourselves and to America, Indiana is a special place. It's not everywhere that we would have seen that response and that reaction. I cannot tell you how proud I am. To be the employee of six and a half million people like that. And I bet you share that pride too. There's something else about us Hoosiers. When bad luck comes, when trouble comes, we always respond the same way. Our first thought is for those who've been harmed and hurt. Put our arms around them, do everything we can to restore them if we can or to comfort them if that's the best we can do. And we don't waste time repairing the damage to the barn, to the farm, to the neighbor's house. I've seen it a thousand times. We just go right to work. Our first instinct is not to look for scapegoats and try to find somebody to lay the blame on. Later on, at the appropriate time, we try to learn lessons and maybe we do a little better the next time. But we're here this morning because we say that our first love, our first concern is with our neighbors, 
And our first job is to get back to business, business of living, business of the state fair, business of caring for each other. And I'll say again, it's a source of immense pride to me to be able to work for and on behalf of people like that. There's only one thing in life I'm more proud of. That's that I was hired a long time ago by Sherry Lynn Herman for my most important job. And for those who don't know, Sherry's greatest love, I think, is the Indiana State Fair. She never misses a day, not one. And she was here Saturday night, of course. She's here again this morning. And uh, I hope you'll permit me with pride to introduce to you my fair lady, Sherry Daniel.